Hello friends, I'm Neshik and today in this video I'll teach you how to do advanced automated email marketing for blogs and e-commerce stores using a free tool called MailChimp. In this video I'll be covering some really amazing things that most of you guys might not have seen before. For example, I'll show you how to run an automation campaign. Now first of all, let me give you an example of automation campaign for those of you who don't know. So in this campaign what happens is you can automatically send a welcome email whenever someone joins your newsletter. So you don't have to manually type in the message every time someone joins the newsletter, you can simply automate that. We'll also see e-coms related things like automatically sending thank you message to the first time customer or sending coupons to first time customer so that it motivates them to purchase again. We'll also cover abandoned cart, follow up and many more e-commerce related things. Then we'll see how to create newsletter forms and pop-ups to attract and collect more emails. And let me remind you again that all these things are absolutely free. So without wasting any time, let's see how we can do this. So first of all, you have to come to this website, MailChimp.com. And here if you already have an account you have to log in or if you don't already have an account you can click on this button sign up for free and you have to sign up for free so let me just create an account with a new email address so first of all simply enter your personal email address and after that you can choose some username for yourself and after that you can also enter some password now once you do that you can now simply click on this sign up button now you'll see this page and here it says that you have to check your email they have sent you some you know link you have to click on that link to activate this account so let's see our account all right so as you can see i have received this mail and you will have to simply click on this button activate account and your account will be activated you just have to click on this button i'm not a robot now they will redirect you to some page and here you have to select the plan obviously we just want to use the single plan the free plan after that once you go to this thing once you want to upgrade you can upgrade anytime but obviously we want to start with the free plan with the free plan you can have 2000 contacts and you can send 10,000 emails per month i guess so you can select this option and now click on next you have to enter your basic information so i'll enter my basic details over here then you have to enter your website URL. So if you have created an account, this is optional by the way, if you want, you can leave this thing as well. You can connect your website later on as well. But I've created an account. In fact, I've created this website. So I want to link this website with this one and I can enter some random number over here. Now, as for this website, the URL that I've entered over here, this is of this website, this e-commerce website that I've created over here. You can see this beautiful professional e-commerce website. Now, because we are going to do some, you know, e-commerce related things in this video, you must have an e-commerce website already created. If you don't have an e-commerce website, don't worry. You can start and you can create it later on. In fact, you can do one thing if you want to create this exact same website, this beautiful e-commerce website. This e-commerce website that you see on the screen, this is created using only free resources. And it has all the important features like you can add the product to wish list, you can add the product to cart, you can do checkout, you can do all these things and this is a beautiful design. And again, this e-commerce website is created using only free resources. So if you have not already created an e-commerce website, you can do one thing. You can see there is a link given in the video description below. You can click on that link and you can see that video. Or you can do one thing, you can just go to YouTube and search for Naya Shake e-commerce. And there are so many tutorials that I've created uh, wherein you can learn how to create an e-commerce website for free. And for this website that I've shown you, this website, if you want to create this website, you have to watch this tutorial, the latest 2021 tutorial. This is the one. How to create an e-commerce website with WordPress, online store, Woostify tutorial 2021. Okay, as you can see, I've just uploaded it a week ago. So make sure to watch that tutorial if you don't already have an e-commerce website. Once you enter all these details, simply click on next or simply click on continue. Then you have to enter your basic address. So I'll enter some dummy address over here. Enter your zip code and all, all this information, enter your country name and all. And after that, simply click on continue. So these things are just basic things. Uh, if you already have an account, so there can be things like you already have a list of contacts that you already have a list of emails that you want to add in your uh, in your MailChimp account and you want to do email marketing with them or you want to send them newsletters or notifications. So if you already have some emails or some contacts, you can select yes and you can select this option. How many people you have? For me, I want to do everything from scratch. So I'll select no and I'll click on continue. Now this will ask you what do you offer or plan to offer. So maybe I want to offer services. If you want to offer original content or physical goods, whatever you want, you can select this thing. Maybe I'll select services and click on continue. You can skip these things as well. These are not really useful. This is just a basic survey. So even if you select anything or if you skip, it does not matter. 
Then finally, if you want to receive some newsletters from MailChimp, you can tick mark this thing. I don't want to receive any newsletter from them, so I can untick everything and I'll click on continue. And with this, your account is now created. First time when you create an account, they will give you this simple setup. Uh, but I, I don't want to follow this setup because I want to show you everything from scratch. Now they will ask you what would you like to create, whether you, you would like to create email or automation or website or and after that you can add your contact and launch your campaign. Now I don't want to follow this process, I'll show you a better process, a better way of running a campaign, a better way of creating and managing your campaign. So we'll just skip this part. Now you can simply do one thing, click on this MailChimp icon, you will be redirected to your dashboard or if you want to create your audience, the very first thing that we want to create is to create our audience. So you can do one thing. From the left hand side, you will see this icon. If you hover over this, it says audience. Click on that icon. Now recently MailChimp has done so many changes on their website on and on their plans and all. So if you have watched any of my previous MailChimp tutorials, you would see that the interface looks totally different. But and here it looks totally different. And with that earlier, what was happening is you could create different list or different audience list. But now you cannot do that. For example, if you click on manage audience and if you click on view audience, as you can see, one list is already already created for you uh, by the name of your company. So my uh, my company name was Fahim Media. This list is already created for you. And now you don't get this button, create audience. Now you cannot create audience. But earlier it was happening that you could create audience with the free plan. Now if you want to create audience, you have to upgrade your plan. But we don't want to do that. Now first I want to upgrade or change some settings of this group or this audience list. So you can do one thing, you will see this audience name, whatever you have named that. And after that, you will see this option. You will see this drop down. Click on this and click on settings. Now under settings, there are so many options. You have to select this first option, audience name and defaults. Select this option. Now, first of all, you can change the audience name. Now you have to be very careful because this thing will be visible to your customer. So if, for example, my website name is blogdude.com. So I would like to enter an audience name wherein the person knows, for example, if I want to create this list for my main website blogdude.com and if i want to create or if you want to if i want to target only those people whom i want to send a particular type of you know newsletter for example i want to send them only marketing related newsletter or affiliate marketing related news newsletter or seo related newsletter so on so i can create a name like blogdude seo newsletters you can also see your audience id is given over here this this might be useful sometimes when you want to link MailChimp with some plugin, they will ask you this audience ID. So whenever you want to use this thing, you have this audience ID over here. Now we have two very important settings under form settings, whether you want to enable double opt-in. So let me explain you how this thing works. So if you see this website that I've created, now this is also an example of newsletter email marketing. So if someone wants to register, if someone wants to subscribe to your newsletter, they can simply enter that email, their email address over here. And after that, they can click on subscribe. Now, once they click on subscribe, there could be two things. Uh, one thing or first scenario can be that once a person clicks on, once a person enters their email address and click on subscribe, you can directly, you know, you can directly add them in your list in this list or you can do one thing you can enable double opt-in so once you enable double opt-in what happens is once this customer or this visitor enter their email address and click on subscribe they will not be automatically added to the audience first we'll send them some mail just to confirm that their email address is correct and just to confirm that people are not spamming or people are not just filling your you know newsletter or filling your audience list so once they click on subscribe, they will receive a similar email like this one. They will have to click on activate and only after that their their email address will be added in this list that we have created. So if you want, you can also enable double opt in. Then after that, when you scroll down again, some really important settings, you have to enter your default from name and default from email address. Now, if you see this email address that I've received, this is the from name MailChimp client services. If I go back to my main inbox, now here as you can see whenever you receive any mail the from name will be this name MailChimp client service or whatever the from name is. So here you can enter your name if you are the brand or if you want to enter your brand's name or your company's name you can do that. So here I want to display Nayesh Sheikh. So instead of something like MailChimp client uh, services or anything like that it will display Nayesh Sheikh or blog dude whatever you want to enter. Then after that we have to enter our default email address so from email address. So if you open this thing, as you can see, this is from this email address client services at 
mailchimp.com so by default your gmail email is given over here i would recommend you to create a business email and enter that email so instead of asli nayar or real nayar at gmail.com your business email would be something like nayar at blogdude.com so with your website name as your extension so if you don't know how to create a business email again there is another tutorial on my channel if you just search for nayar sheikh uh, email or nayar sheikh business email as you can see this thing you will see this tutorial how to create business email so you can create business email and you can set up that email with gmail so if you want to do that you can watch this tutorial and in my opinion creating a business email is really important there are so many benefits of that so as you can see it gives you some you know brand credibility people know that you have this thing you have your personal business email and more importantly if you if you're using gmail address your message might go in the spam box i'll explain you and i'll show you this thing later on in this video you'll see that whenever you're using gmail email address and you're sending newsletters your email might go in the spam box i'll show you what that thing is then you can also enter the default email subject so as you can see this is your email subject activate your mailchimp account or you can see this subject over here as well so you can enter something like that over here i'll just enter weekly seo newsletter so you can enter something like this so something related and relevant to your newsletter subject then you have some more options over here if you want you can tick mark this thing or if you want you can just you know just leave it as it is then when you scroll down you have this option so whenever someone you know subscribe to your newsletter whenever a person enters their email address and click on subscribe if you want to receive notifications for that you can enter your email address where you want to receive notifications at so for example if you want to receive notification maybe on this email so you can enter this email address over here and for receiving notifications there are two options first one is one by one and another one is summary so in one by one for example a person enters the email address click on subscribe you will receive a notification like this then after that after one hour another person subscribe you can you will again receive a notification like this so you'll receive a new notification for every single person or if you select this summary option or if you select this option then you will receive only one email per day and in that email you will have a summary that how many people subscribed uh, or today and how many people subscribed on any particular day and you can see all those summary in one single email so you won't be receiving individual emails every single time you will be receiving only one email per day and in that it will be summarized for you so whichever option you want you can select this thing and click on save audience and campaign defaults okay so now let's see how we can create different templates so a template is something like this so whenever you open the email this is the template for example as you can see you have your header at top you have your logo over here you have the title and also this is a template another example of a newsletter template can be something like this so if you want to you know if you want to send weekly newsletters you can create a template so you don't have to do it every single week you can create a template and every week you just have to change the content in that template so that will you know that will make your job very easy let me show you how that is done so first of all to create a new audience or to create a new template you have to go to campaigns so you will see this option this link or this icon click on that icon this is the campaign option i don't want to run a campaign right now i just want to create a template first and after that i'll run a uh, some campaign so to create a new template you'll see another option email templates click on this one and click on create template now you'll be redirected to this page and here as you can see we have three different options layouts themes and code your own in the layout option or in the layout tab you have some basic layouts created for you and you can use this one to create or design your own newsletter i'll show you how to do that thing then in the second one we have pre built themes so if you want to use or if you want to customize any one of these themes you can just import any one of these and after that you can customize it however you want it so you simply click on that thing and you can redesign it i'll obviously show you how that is done third option is code your own now in this you can paste in your own code or if you want you can import the html but this is all for premium version not available in free version now this also earlier if you see again if you see my earlier videos on mailchimp earlier all these options were available in the free version but now only the first two are available in the free version and all of the for all of the other ones you have to upgrade your plan for this basic layout as well only these two are available and if you want to use these you have to upgrade your plan again a bad thing earlier everything was available for free version but don't worry about this thing because i'll show you even using a simple and a basic layout like this one how you can create beautiful templates now what i want to do is i want to use this one basic one column click on this option 
Now, if you see the MailChimp newsletter that we just received, this is also a similar one. And I received another newsletter from Code Academy. So here also, as you can see, I want to create a similar newsletter like this one. Now, you cannot create two different columns with the free version. As you can see here, two columns are created. You cannot do that with the free version. So these things will be useful to promote your blogs or to promote different things or pro promote different courses or maybe to promote different products. And here, as you can see, first of all, if you see this template that you have just imported, this one has a container and it has this background. So which is a good thing. If you see this MailChimp one, this is a full width one. If you if it is a full width, it will touch both the sides. If it is a container, it will be like this. So we, we have selected a similar design. So in container, you have the content in the center and the left hand side and right hand side, you have a lot of gap that is just basically your background. The main content is here in the middle. Now, if you see this particular newsletter from this particular website, they are using mostly images. So if you see this header, this is not a this is not typed in or anything. This is an image. If you open this in a new tab, you can see it will be downloaded and you can see this is an image. So you can also create different types of images and we can use them on our website. I'll obviously show you how to do that thing. Now, the very first thing that I want to do is I want to change the background color like this one. OK, here, as you can see, this is the background color. So to do that thing, you can click on this style tab, click on this and you will see all the different options. So here we have this header. This is your header. Then we have the content or basically your body text. And after that, we have your footer. And to change the color of the background, we'll select the page elements or page options. So select page. And right now, this is the color used. If you want to use red color, as you can see, or any other color, you can use it. You should not be using this solid color like this one. I would recommend you to use a very light color. So I'll select a very light version of this one, maybe like this or even more lighter like this one. So this will be my background color and my content will be in the center, even maybe more lighter like this. OK, now in the content, the very first thing you have to enter is this header. So basically under header, you can just upload your logo if you want, like they have uh, used over here. They have just uploaded the logo. This is the logo. So if you want, you can use your logo or in the header, you can just create a basic header like this one. So if you want to create a basic header like this one, there's another free website that you can use to do that. So let me show you that website. So you can go to canva.com and here you can see there are so many different things that you can create with this one. You can click on create a design. You have so many different options over here. These options have their own dimensions, for example, 1080 uh, or you know 1440p. All those different dimensions are given over here. If you want to use a custom dimension or a custom size, you can click on custom size and you can enter your number. So maybe I want to use 1280 and 400. OK, because what I want to do is I want width to be bigger and height to be pretty smaller. Maybe not 400. We can make it 500 or 450. Now click on create a new design. And this is how it will look like. I want to create a similar header like this one. OK, so what we'll do is we'll come back to this page. And if you want to use text or anything, first of all, for this particular size, you get so many different options. You can use these options as well. At the left hand side, as you can see, you can use any one of these options to create your own header. For example, if you just click on this, this entire design will be imported on your website. Now you can do some changes. For example, if you want to, if you want to suppose, you know, replace this image with some other image, you can click on this image, delete it, and you can click on this image and upload your own image. But what I want to do is I want to delete everything. I want to show you everything from scratch, not even the background color. So I want the background color to be white. So I don't want to insert any background color. But if you want to do that thing, you can do one thing. Click on this color and you can select any color for your background color. I want to keep it white. So I'll remove that thing and I want to keep very simple header and footer. So first, let's see if we have any simple design available. Now, whichever design you like, you can simply click on that thing and you can use that design. I don't want to use any one of these. I want to use a simple text. So to do that thing, I'll click on this text option in here. Also, we have some pre-built designs that you can use. Now, let me select a simple design from here for title and subtitle. I want a title and I also want a subtitle. This is also a good one. This one also looks good. Let me see some more. Let's use this one. This one looks good. So I'll click on this thing and you'll get your title over here. Now you just have to click on that thing and you can change the content. For example, if you want this thing, here it says here to you. So instead of this thing, I want to type in something else. So here I'll type weekly newsletter. So I'll double click on this and I'll type in weekly newsletter. Okay. 
So this is my subtitle and after that I this newsletter is for maybe SEO or affiliate marketing for whatever the topic is you can enter that topic. So maybe I'll type in affiliate marketing and if you want you can obviously increase or decrease the width like this and if you want you can also change the style of this text. Maybe if you don't like this style you can select this option. There's so many different styles that you can select maybe let's see. Suppose if you want this one you can click on this and the style will change. There are some fonts are for free and some fonts uh, to use some of the other fonts you'll have to use the premium version. We are not going to use anything premium over here we'll be using everything free. So let me select some free font from here. Let's see this one. I think this one looks good. So I'll use this one maybe. Okay so this is my title subtitle and I want to bring this thing a little bit at top. Okay, so it's title, subtitle and at bottom you can do one thing, you, I'll enter my company's name over here. Okay, now once you're done you can just click on this download button and after that again click on download. This thing will be downloaded for you. You can see this thing over here. Now I can come over here, click on this logo and I can simply replace this image. So I'll click on replace, upload and I'll simply upload this image that we have just downloaded. Okay, this is the one that we have just created, sunset, I'll select this, click on open. And once it is uploaded, we'll click on use. And here as you can see, you have beautiful title and subtitle over here. Now for the content, you can click on this thing and you will see under blogs, you will see this is your content. So I don't want this title, it's time to design your email. Or uh, you can have some other title if you want to type in suppose affiliate marketing or something something. Okay, so whatever your title is, you can simply replace this content with your title. And after that, these are all simple text. Now if you want to delete some text, you can simply delete them like this. And if you want to add some custom text, you can do that thing as well. Maybe let me copy this text from here. Okay. And now I can come over here. I can simply replace it with this one. And here as you can see, this is how it will look like. If you want to add some links or something like this, for example, if I, if I want to link this text, this courses text with something. So whenever someone clicks on this courses text, they will be redirected to some other page. So if you want to link this thing, select that word or select that letter or whatever a sentence. And after that, click on this link option and enter your link. So maybe I want to link this with my YouTube channel. Okay. I'll come over here and paste in this link and click on insert. Now, once it is linked, you can see this thing at the left hand side, you have this option. You have this design for this link. Obviously you can go ahead, you can add some more text, you can add images, you can add so many other things. I don't want to do that right now. Now for this option, this is your footer. You can click on this thing and this is your Twitter, Facebook, all those links can be entered over here. So instead of this default link, I'll enter my Twitter link over here. Similarly for Facebook as well, facebook.com slash whatever your link is, your website name, you can enter that link over here. I'll enter my website's name and after that if you want to add some more you can click on add another service email instead of email maybe I want to add Instagram so you can search for that or maybe let's add YouTube and I'll add my YouTube link over here. Okay so similarly you can go ahead add more options and click on save and close. Then below this thing you have the footer if you click on footer this is how your footer will look like copyright uh, instead of this text it will display the current year. Instead of this thing, it will display your company's name and all the other things. If you want to delete or if you want to remove anything from this, you can do that thing as well and click on save and close again. Now suppose if you want to add some images or text or anything like that, you can do one thing. You can add or you can drag and drop these options. For example, you can drag and drop this text element over here if you want to add another text or you can, if you want to delete them, just click on this dustbin icon, it will be deleted. And if you want to add a divider, social links, video or if you want to you know add custom code you can do all these things from here. Now suppose if you want to add different columns over here so as I said earlier you cannot do that thing with the free version but there is a hack you can use that thing and you can design your website you can create two different columns. So maybe I want to create something like this I want to display two different posts or two different courses and I, if someone clicks on this they will be redirected to that particular course. If you want to do this thing you can click on uh, this option you can select this option maybe. Let's select this image group drag and drop this image group over here. Now this is the default design that you get if you upload any image for example let me just upload this image click on insert. This is the image that you get or this is how it will look like but you cannot add any text or anything below this thing. Like we have this image 
this can be your thumbnail your youtube thumbnail your course thumbnail or your course a featured image or your post featured image and below this thing i want to add this title and i also want to add this link start course or purchase product or any other thing but you cannot do that thing over here but again there is a hack for that now for this also you can use canva you can come back to canva go to your home page and now let's create a new design so click on create design uh, click on custom size let's add maybe 900 by 900 or maybe 900 by 800 then click on this button create new design and let me show you how you can do that thing so first of all i want to add my thumbnail so if you want you can upload your own thumbnail from here so if you go to my website blogdude.com here as you can see i have all these thumbnails over here so let me upload a few of my thumbnails so let me so to do that thing click on upload media select device and upload your thumbnail from here so let me get the latest thumbnail which is this one so once you upload this thing if you click on this it will come over here and now i want to bring it over here make it full width now you won't understand what i'm doing but once i use this thing on this on this design on this template you'll understand why i'm creating this design now below this thing i want to add my title so maybe this is my title so i'll copy the title go to text and let's use a simple option let's use this simple subheading so i'll click on subheading i'll replace it with this title bring it over here at bottom i want to start from here i want to change the text color to black okay maybe this black dark black you can also change some more things you can change the font family and all maybe i want to make it poppins okay and this looks better i want to make it left align it is center align i want to make it left align and I also want to increase the size of this text a little bit. Maybe let's make it, uh, yeah, 45, 46 pixels look good. And below this thing, I want to add this text. I want to add uh, this kind of text, start course or watch video, anything like that. So I'll type in watch video. Now this time I'll use this little bit of body text option. Bring it over here at the bottom. First, let me just type in watch video. Again, I'll change this color to this black color or maybe this time you can change this to maybe this red color or blue or whatever color you want. So let me just keep it at red and after that I'll make it bolder. So I'll select this B. Let's make it bolder. Increase the size a little bit. Again, bring it over here. I think this looks good. Let me again see. I can, let's see, we can, we can decrease the size. And instead of open sans again, I want to make it poppins, which is over here, poppins medium. This looks better. Okay. Now let me show you how you can use this thing. Let me bring this thing a little bit down. Let me show you how you can use this thing on this template. So you can create similar templates, click on download, click on download again. This thing will be downloaded for you, obviously. Now I can come back to this template and instead of this thing, replace it with this new newly created image. So I'll upload this image from here. So this is the image that we just created. Select this, click on open. And after it is imported, you can insert it. And now as you can see, this is how it will look like. And similarly, you can create another design and you can upload this th this one over here in the second column. And you can have two columns over here. So this is a quick hack. And if you want to link this thing, for example, over here, if someone clicks on this thing, they will be redirected to this particular video. So let me show you how you can link it. So maybe let me copy this link address. I'll come over here, come back to this page again and you can use this option link option. So I'll select the first options and link it with this video. Now for the second option, the right hand side column, I'll copy some other link. Maybe let me copy this link. Come back to this template again and, and for this link, I want to upload it like this. So if someone clicks on this left uh, left option, they will be redirected to this video and someone clicks on this right option, they will be redirected to some other video. You can click on save and close. Now, whenever you want to see the preview of this, you can press one on your keyboard. Okay, if you press one on your keyboard, now as you can see, this looks so much better, so beautiful. And we did not have to use the columns, we created our own option. If you if I hover over this, you can see the link at the bottom over here, where you see my mouse, uh, mouse cursor. When I hover this image, you can see the link of that video that we have imported or that we have inserted two different videos, two different columns. And if you want to see how this will look on mobile phone, you can click on mobile and you can see this is how it will look on mobile phone. Now, once you are satisfied with this, you can click on save and exit. You can name this template something. So I'll just name it uh, uh, maybe video template. 
so whenever I, I want to upload or whenever I want to promote my videos recent videos I can use this template now similarly you can create many different types of templates maybe we'll create another video wherein we can cover or wherein we can focus only on different types of templates and how we can create them beautifully but not in this video because this is already getting very lengthier I don't want to focus too much on these templates now let's move on and let's do some more important things now let me show you how you can integrate any website which you want whether it's a blog whether it's an e-commerce website how you can integrate that website with MailChimp and how you can send automatic newsletters to your customers or to your viewers. So first of all suppose I want to use this website for this woostify.fahem.in if I want to use this website I can go to the dashboard of this website. Now over here in the dashboard click on plugins from the left hand side and you have to upload few plugins over here. So click on add new and let's see you can just go to search plugins and search for MailChimp and there are two plugins that we have to install MailChimp for WordPress and MailChimp for WooCommerce so click on this install button now this is for everyone MailChimp for WordPress is for everyone whether you're creating blog whether you're creating anything e-commerce website any kind of website but MailChimp for WooCommerce is only for people who want to create or who want to use this on an e-commerce website. If you don't have an e-commerce website, if, if it is just a simple blog, you don't need this MailChimp for WooCommerce plugin. You just need the first one. Now once you install these two plugins, click on plugins from the left hand side and we can activate both at once. So I can come over here, tick mark both the plugins, go at the bottom or top, select bulk action, select activate and click on apply. Both the plugins will be activated for you. Now once it is activated, now it's time to link your website with MailChimp. So first of all, let's link this first one MailChimp for WordPress. So to you will see a new option will be added over here at the left hand side, bottom side at the left, MC4WP. So which stands for MailChimp for WordPress, click on that option. And here to link MailChimp with your website, you'll have to enter your API key. Now let me show you where you can get your API key. So again, go to MailChimp.com and you will see at the bottom left corner, you have your profile, click on that. Click on account. Now select this extras option, click on API keys. And here you'll see your API key will be present. If you don't see any API key, you can create a new one. So click on create a key. A key will be created for you instantly. As you can see, just copy it from here. Go back to your website, paste in this thing, click on save changes. It will be connected and it, once it is connected, it will also display your website name. So as you can see, if you remember at the very beginning in the audience setting, we had created this audience blog dude SEO newsletter. You also get your ID for this audience or you also get your ID for this audience list. And you can see there are one, there is one subscriber in this particular list. Now let's see how we can create a form using this plugin. So under MailChimp for WordPress, you can click on form. And one basic form will be created for you. You just have to name it anything. For example, I'll name it form one and click on add new form. Okay, so now as you can see, this is how your form should look like, or this is how your form will look like. You can see very basic form without any styling and all. It looks really bad actually. But some of you might see a better form depending on your theme you're using. But most of you will see a form like this one. Obviously, this looks really bad. But if you want to improve this, uh, if you want to improve the styling of this form, you can first click on appearance. Right now, it is getting the styling from your theme. So this is getting, this is, as you can see, inheriting the theme style. If you want, you can select some other. If you select basic style, click on save changes. And if you again come back to your fields option, uh, it looks a little bit different. Now, as you can see, uh, the button is still bad, but this thing has improved. It, this is now improved. As you can see, the input field has now improved. Similarly, if you want some other style, you can select this red style, green style, dark style, and it will again change the style of this form a little bit. But what I would recommend you to do is if your form looks bad, you can do one thing. You can add two different classes on this. So click on fields. Let me show you how you can add classes. Now these are different things added. For example, type is equal to email. Name is email placeholder is this your it says your email address inside this thing. So that is your placeholder and this is required, which means that this is compulsory. Now, just before required, I want to type in class is equal to and under double inverted commas, I want to type in uh, the class name. So I want to give it a class name of MC dash or MC hyphen input. OK, so MailChimp input, you can name it anything. You can give it any class name. I would recommend you to give the same class name and I'll explain you the reason why. So this is the class name you have to give. Make sure there is one space below before and after this thing. So this class name is MC input. I'll copy the same class name from here and we'll come back to this option. 
I'll paste in the same code that I've copied from top and I'll just change this thing. So instead of input, I'll type in button. Okay, you can see this thing on your screen as well. This is how it will look like. Now, if you click on save changes, it will still look the same. No styling has happened on this website. But let me show you how you can do that thing. So if you see, there will be a link given in the video description below. If you click on that link, you will download this file, style file. If you open this thing, this is how it will look like. I would recommend you to copy everything from here and you can paste it under, you can paste it anywhere basically, but you can go to appearance and under appearance, you will see you have this option, customize. Open this option in a new tab. Now under customize, you will see additional CSS is given over here. The bottom most option, additional CSS. Click on that option and paste in the code that you have copied and click on publish. You can see the same class name is given over here, MC hyphen button and MC hyphen input. And that is the reason why we gave it this class name. Now, if you again come back to this page and refresh it, now you can see your form looks totally different because this has added all this styling on your form. If it does not look like this, if it looks a little bit different, I would recommend you to watch my CSS video. You'll learn some basic styling in that video and you can follow that thing and you can, you know, learn more things. But most of the times it should work. This code that I've given you, this, this will work for you. Now, if you want to change the color of this thing, for example, this is the button color. If you want to change this button color, you will see this option under background color. This is the button color. If you want some other color, you can just paste in that hex code for that color. Okay. So it will change that thing. Now, once you have created this form, now we can use this form anywhere on your website. For example, if I, you just have to copy this short code and wherever you want to use it, you can use it. For example, let me show you if I want to use this on my sidebar, I can go to widgets. So under appearance, you will see this widgets option again, open this thing in a new tab and you can do one thing. You will see a new option will be added for you and it will be this option MailChimp sign up form. Select this option and maybe I want to bring this under my main sidebar. So I'll click on add widget. And now as you can see, this is added in my main sidebar. Now, if I go to my blog page and if I go at bottom, you will see this thing. Okay. I have added twice, I guess. Okay. I'll delete this one. Let me refresh it again. And now as you can see, this is how it will look like. So you have your newsletter over here. Now people can simply enter their email address. They'll click on sign up and they will be added to your list automatically. And if you want to use this thing somewhere else, for example, I've created this post. Okay. This is the post. If I want to use this on this post, I can simply edit this post and I can simply paste in the short code that, that is present over here. So this short code, copy it from here and paste it wherever you want to display it. So maybe I want to display it over here. Okay. Just below this thing, I'll paste it. Click on update. Now, if I view this post in a new tab, let me show you if I scroll down. Now, as you can see, this is, uh, this thing is present over here. I would recommend you to write your post with Elementor. You can design, you have more control over the design of your post. So basically wherever you want to display this thing, simply copy the short code and paste it over there and it will display this uh, newsletter instead of this short code, just like it has done over here. You can also add this thing in your footer actually. So under footer, let me see, I have this thing in the footer, but if you want, you can do one thing again, MailChimp sign up form, select this thing, select footer widget and wherever you want to bring this thing, just bring it over here. And if you refresh your website, you can see your footer widget is now present. So people can enter their email address and they can sign up for your newsletter. Uh, I'll delete it from here, but you can enter it just like this. Now, this is one way of collecting emails through this form, but a better way would be to use some pop-ups. So you might have seen when you scroll down or when you spend some time on your website or when you try to exit the website, you might see some pop-up on some website. So in that pop-up, you can enter your email address and you'll get some free PDF or you'll get some notification or you can sign up for the newsletter. So those pop-ups are really useful. They help you a lot in collecting emails for your email marketing or for your newsletter. So let me show you how you can create pop-ups for absolutely free and that too beautiful and professional pop-ups. So again, to do that thing, we'll need a new plugin. So click on plugins and this time click on add new and search for hustle. So if you type in hustle, you'll see this pop-up builder, hustle pop-up builder, which is this one. Hustle email marketing lead generation opt-in pop-ups by WPMU dev. So make sure you have installed this one, which has more than 100,000 active installations, great rating. And this has just updated 21 hours ago. So it is compatible with your version of WordPress and recently updated. Now you can activate this plugin once it is installed. 
and now you'll get a new option at the left hand side so at the left hand side at the bottom you'll see hustle is added click on that option now you'll see this simple setup over here you can click on get started now what you want to create you can create pop-ups you can create slide-ins you can also create social share uh, I don't want to cover I don't want to invest a lot of time uh, in this in this plugin on this video but I, I just want to cover the pop-up part later on maybe in another video I'll create a dedicated video for this plugin and I'll show you how you can create slide-ins and you can do some more things with this plugin so right now we'll just select pop-up and click on create now it will ask you to give it any name so I have named it SEO newsletter so I'll name the same thing over here and whether this is email opt-in or this is informational so this is email opt-in I'll select this thing and click on choose template now there are so many pre-built templates you just can import it and after that you can do some changes you can simply enter your content and your pop-up is created within few seconds so this one looks good as you can see a nice and simple one similarly this one also looks good so maybe let's select this one click on choose template now this is the title of the template so instead of this title you can enter your title similarly this is the image so instead of this image you can upload your image and this is the content so all these things are given if you want to again preview this thing you can click on this preview button and you can see this thing over here okay this is the title COVID-19 update this is the content this is the image now I'll cut this thing so maybe instead of this title I'll type in get weekly SEO tips okay maybe something like this you can also change your content type in something like that and you can change this image as well you can click on this button and maybe let's select let's select some other image maybe this one okay I want to use let's see maybe let's select this image and click on use this image and after that if you click on a preview again let's see this is how it will look like if you want to again do some changes you can anytime come back you can change the for example if this image does not look good according to you you can choose some other image maybe let's select this one and click on use image again you can preview to see how this one is looking so this is how it looks you can just go ahead do as many changes as you want and once you're satisfied you can now do some more changes for example you can add this option add never see this message again you can add this link as well you can add a call to action you can add all these things in this one now once you do this thing once it is completed you can just publish this option and it says ready to go now I'll cut this thing and we'll come back to this option and we have some more options this was just the first step creating your pop-up in the next step we can set up emails so click on emails at the bottom right corner now I want to generate or I want to get emails with this so if you click on this gear icon you can edit fields and you can do some changes over here for example the placeholder says edit your email address if you want to change this thing if you want to change the styling or settings you can do everything from here then the next option is your submission behavior so whenever this will show a success message to the visitor or redirect them to another URL on successful form submission so if you select success message you can type in any message so whenever a person enters their email address and they click on subscribe button they will receive this email they will receive this message or you can redirect them to some you can create a thank you page and you can enter that URL of that thank you page and once they click on submit they can be redirected to that page so this is also good now you can do some more things like automated emails but again as I said earlier I don't want to cover many things over here I just wanted to create a simple pop-up just to show you how you can create or how you can get emails now you can go to next step which is integration now the default option is local list which basically means that it will collect these emails which are uh, which will be entered on that pop-up and it will uh, put under this email list if you open this in a new tab it will put under this email list you can see all the different emails now we we do want this local list which is very useful but we, I also do want to do one thing I want those emails to be automatically added to my MailChimp audience list so to do this thing you have to do one thing you have to add a new integration so you can go to this integration page you can open this link in a new tab basically or you can go to settings under hustle integration you can see under hustle you see integration click on this option and you can integrate it with some uh, some options which are given over here so we want to integrate it with MailChimp which is over here so select MailChimp and click on this plus button which, which says add integration click on this option now again you need to enter your API key so again go back to your MailChimp.com website and you can again at the bottom left click on your icon or click on your username now click on account and under account extras click on extras and API keys 
and again you have your API key copied from here and you can now paste it under this option you can name it so again I'll name the same thing weekly uh, SEO newsletter anything like that or weekly newsletter this is not really important but you can do that and after that just click on connect and this will connect your website as you can see MailChimp successfully connected now if I again come back to this page integration page and refresh it first let me update this page make sure to update these settings and after that you can refresh it and now as you can see local list and MailChimp both the options are given so I'll click on this plus button and I'll select this account and click on continue now this thing will be added uh, automatically opt in new user to the MailChimp list so again if you just want to make it automatic you can do it if you untick this thing if you remove this tick mark user will have to first you know click on the link which we, which they receive in the email address and after that they will be selected or after that they will be added to the list so whatever whichever option you want you can select this and click on continue you can also give it some tags now this this thing is really important tags and all but this this is not supported in the free version so I want to skip this thing I'll click, click on continue again and this thing is really important maybe in some future video we'll cover how to use tags which is which is more important and which is actually very important to target your particular type of audience I'll explain you maybe in another video not in this one okay now again make sure to update this page now click on appearance which is your final step this is the compact style which is the default style you can have some more styles okay you have the you have the opt-in focus you have the content focus you can do this thing you can change the font family you can change the color and all and custom styling is given to you you can use these font the, you can use these classes to style your form I don't want to do this thing I will just go and click on visibility now where do you want to show this thing so by default it will display everywhere on your website so if you want to display only on specific pages you can click on add condition and maybe I want to display only on post only on blog post or maybe on blog post and on let's see some more option on I'll, I'll click on WooCommerce tab and I want to display maybe only on post and only on product pages so I can select these two and click on add condition now as you can see it will display only on these two options post and products so this is how it works but I, I just wanted to show you that you can add a condition but I want to display everywhere on my website which is the default setting now you can go to behavior so when should this appear when should this pop up appear so by default it is immediately so as soon as the user visits your website as soon as your website completely loads it will immediately load you can select this option or you can select 20% scroll or so whenever a person scrolls 20% of the page it will display you can obviously change this to 50% as well or when they click on this uh, this thing or under X this is the one which I use the most exit intent so whenever the user tries to exit the page basically it means that whenever let me open a new tab and show you this thing so this is an incognito window maybe this is a website blogdo.com now if the user is intending to cut your page or exit your website they will bring their mouse cursor and they will cut this tab okay this X they'll click on this X icon to cut this tab so as soon as they bring the mouse cursor over here it will display them this pop-up so that is the exit intent and this is the one that I uh, this is the one that I recommend the most now you can also add some animations if you want a pop-up entrance animation and exit animation again as I said to you earlier I don't want to you know invest a lot of time over here I'll just click on save changes the basic things we have already covered now if you go to your website let me go to this this is the website if I go to the home page and if you scroll down now because everything was tick mark immediately was also enabled let me go back to that page again as, as you can see immediately was also enabled so it just appeared immediately but if you just select this option 50% scroll or uh, and exit you know, exit intent I'll update this page refresh it again now as you can see it will not appear immediately but when I you know but, but when I scroll to 50% now as you can see it will appear and if I open any other page and if I try to exit if I bring my mouse cursor to try to cut that page now as you can see I got this pop-up so this is how this is useful now a user can simply enter the email address and they will be added to your MailChimp list all right so now all the basic things are now present we have created pop-up we have created this form now we can do one thing we can start creating different campaigns 
and let me show you how you can create schedule campaign automation campaign and how you can have how you can promote your products as well how you can create a campaign to thank you uh, to thank a customer for their first purchase how you can automatically send coupons and all so this is the part that we are going to cover from here I guess now to create campaign we'll again have to go back to MailChimp and to create a new one or to create a new campaign you can click on this pencil icon which says create or you can click on this icon campaigns icon and you will see this option all campaigns and you will also see you have one audience one contact is given so now to create a new campaign you can click on this button create campaign. Now there are many different types of campaign most of the times you should be using this email campaign because this video is totally focused on email marketing so we'll select this email campaign. Now there are three types of email campaigns available in the free version regular automated and plain text. Earlier again if you see my earlier videos on MailChimp you will see that there were four types even another type or the fourth type was AB testing but that is removed now that is available only in the premium version. In the free version you have the three types. Now let's start with the most basic one most easiest one that is the plain text. When you just want to say when you just want to send simple text as your message as your newsletter I'll explain you and I'll show you how that looks like. So this is plain text you can give it an, uh, you can give this campaign some name. So this is uh, maybe some I'll just give it a dummy name of plain text campaign and click on begin. Now once you give it a name and click on begin you will have to select your audience. Now you have to select the audience. So I want to say, send this to entire audience which is just one single recipient. So select this thing and at the bottom right corner you will see this next button click on that. Now this is your campaign name plain text campaign. And this is the email subject. I have shown you this thing earlier as well. Let me show you again. So we have seen this Code Academy example. This is how your subject will look like. So this is your subject. Uh, let me come back over here. You can also have a preview text. Let me show you what this preview text is. If I go back. Now if you see this email. Some text is preview over here. You can see or you can read some text. This is the preview text. We have added new courses and features to help you customize. You can see this thing. This is your preview text. So if you want you can add a snippet or some preview text over here. Then you can change the from name and from email address. Again this is the from name. In this case it is Code Academy. So instead of Code Academy it will be Nayashik. And instead of this email address it will be your email address. Now you should always tick mark these things. We want to track how many people open this campaign. But this is not available for the plain text campaign. So in another campaign we'll see this thing. Then after that we should always see whether you received any clicks HTML clicks. So whether people clicked on any link and then you can also track different things e-commerce link tracking but these things are not available over here. I'll explain you in another campaign when we create next campaign regular and automated campaign in that we'll see how that is done. Now once you do this thing you can now click on this button again at the bottom right corner next button. And finally on this page you can just enter your content. So you can see this is the footer and above this footer you can enter your content over here. So let me just grab some demo content or dem dummy text from here. From this website so here as you can see there is some dummy text. I'll copy this much. I'll paste it over here. So this is how you can just go ahead just type in anything like this. So this is this is just a simple plain text newsletter. Now once you're done you can now click on next again. Or if you want you can anytime preview and test so if you click on one it will preview. So if you just select this option it will display that this is how your text or this is how this thing will look on any email. Or if you want to do one thing if you want to send a test email you can do this thing as well. Or maybe let's do let's click on send and this will send to, to one subscriber that we have now click on send now. Once this campaign is sent you will see this message which says it's out there. So this is now completed. If you again go back to campaigns, if you again click on all campaign, you will see one campaign was created. It was sent on this date, all the dates and timing you can see. Now let me go back to my email and see whether we received this newsletter or not. I guess now as you can see I did receive this newsletter but this is under spam. And as I said you earlier if you open this thing everything is working fine. You have uh, you have the uh, title, you have the subject and all everything is fine. But this came under spam and the reason is if you see the email this is the email that we have given and as I said you in the very beginning of this video you should always be using business email and not gmail to send email marketing or to send email newsletters. So make sure you change that thing once you change that thing everything will work absolutely fine for you. Now again let's come back to campaigns and create a new campaign so we'll click on this button create campaign 
and this time again we'll select email and we'll select regular campaign and maybe I want to send weekly newsletter, I want to send SEO tips or maybe if you don't want to send SEO tips, affiliate marketing tips, you can just send, If you can just promote your videos, your blogs or your courses. So you can name it anything you want. So maybe I just want to promote my recent uploads on my YouTube channel. So I'll give it a title of recent uploads and then we'll click on begin. Now we'll get four different options. First option is to whom do you want to send this campaign to? So if you, you can click on add recipient. Now because we don't have any contacts on our newsletter on our audience list, uh, it says that you have no contact, contacts yet. You can now import contacts from any file if you want. I don't want to do that. I, I actually want to do one thing. I want to subscribe from here. Here, I'll go to the footer and I'll just enter my email or maybe not on footer. Let me go to this blog page or any other page or you can uh, enter over here. I'll enter my email address so that we have some audience and we can send this newsletter to this audience. Now it says you received this message. Thank you. Your sign up request was successful. Please check your email and uh, please check your email inbox to confirm. All right. So as you can see, I have received this email from Nayesh Sheikh blog to SEO newsletter. Please confirm subscription. Now I can click on this and I can select this option. Yes, subscribe me to the list and once I click on that button, I'll be successfully subscribed to this newsletter. I can click on I'm not a robot and click on subscribe. So once this is completed, let me again come back to MailChimp and refresh this page. Now as you can see, you don't have to do any changes over here. You don't have to add recipient because a single person, two recipient, one is just your own email address and another one is just this person uh, that just signed up to your newsletter. So we have this recipient option. Obviously, if you want to add some manual, you can import that from here. Now this is coming from whom? So you can see this is the option from Nayeshake. And again, I'm saying use a business email and click on save. So this thing will also be checkmarked for you. Subject is there. If you want to change your subject, you can do that. Now you can enter the content. So click on design. Now you can select any one of these builders and you can design your own newsletter. I'll select this basic one. Now I don't want to design it thing. I, we have already created one template. So I just want to use that save template. So we'll click on save templates. I'll use this template. So I'll click on this option. And because we have this template, we don't have to waste a lot of time. I just want if you want to just change the content, you can click on this text. I've also I've already shown you everything you can you can change the text. Similarly, if you want to change this image, you can create your own image, new image. You can upload them. You can replace the link. You can replace this text and that will be done for you. Once you complete this thing, you can now click on continue, which is at the top right corner. And all the four things are now checkmarked for you. Now you can just go ahead at the bottom and or you can just click on this option send to just send it right away or you can do one thing you can also schedule this thing or you can schedule this thing so if you click on schedule you can send the time and all i think this is under okay this is also not available in the free version earlier this thing was also available in the free version so we cannot uh, schedule this thing we can just send it right away click on send now now once it is sent again let me go back to my email Okay, so as you can see, I received this under promotion. If I click on this option, click on this is as you can see from Nayeshake Sheikh weekly SEO newsletter. Everything is working fine. If I open this thing, this is how your newsletter will look like. Beautiful. If you click on this thing, this is a link. It will open your video. If you see this thing, all your details are given. If you see, it looks beautiful. You have your everything is basically working fine. So this is how this thing works. This is this was just a regular email. So you know, you just send regular email newsletters to your subscribers. Now let's see automation thing, how we can automate email. So again, to do that thing, we'll come back to campaigns. We'll go back to all campaign. Now, whenever you want to track any campaign, by the way, you can just select this option. For example, we have just sent this campaign or we just, we have just sent this newsletter. You can click on view report. You can see how many people clicked, how many people opened it. So as you can see right now, the open rate is 50% and the reason it is 50% because we send it to two people and one, as you can see, I just opened it. So it is 50% for me and nothing was clicked. If you click on any link, for example, if I click on this link, my video will be open. As you can see, this video is open now because I've clicked on this thing. Now, uh, if I again come back to this page and refresh it, there will be one click. Now, as you can see, click rate is 50%. So one person opened and clicked. You can see which link they clicked. You can see all the different links 
to top links clicked. So this was the link that was clicked as you can see one and these links were not clicked and which was the subscriber that did that all the things can be seen from here. Now let's see the automation things so again come back to campaigns. Now click on create campaign and this time we'll select email and we'll select automated. Now there are many different options over here. The basic one that we should be using the most is this one. Welcome new subscriber. So select this option. Now we can give some name to this campaign and you can select your audience. So we have selected this audience and click on begin. Now here also you have to do four things which are automatically done for you. This will send them uh, from this person. This is the subject and all. If you want to obviously change the subject, click on edit subject. This subject right now by default is thank you for joining us. This is the preview text. We think you'll like it here. If you want to change this thing, obviously you should do that. Now you can click on edit design. Again, here also if you want to use any template or if you want to design your own template, you can do that. Now here as you can see, this is how the default thing looks like. Again, if you want to change the logo or if you want to add your logo or if you want to create a new header, you can replace it with that header. Let me actually replace it with some text. I'll click on replace and maybe not with text. I've created this thing, this header. I'll just insert that. Obviously, you should be inserting some other header. This is just the header we created earlier in this tutorial. Now, if you open this content option, it says hi first name. If there is any first name, if there is no first name, it will just it will just display hi. It will not display the first name. If you have entered or if you have collected the first name of the customer or the visitor, you can display or for example, a person signed up on that email address and they entered the name John Doe. So it will say it will automatically say hi John and for some other people it will say hi Nayar or whatever their first name is. And the text over here says we are glad you're here. We'll keep you in the loop with our latest news and special offers. Obviously, you can just go ahead, do some changes over here. All right. Now for these links as well, if you click on this thing, this is just your regular link. You can add, I think you can add all these links over here. Let me do that thing. In fact, you should add this thing or, or else you'll get a notice or you'll get some error that you're just sending the default text. You have not made any changes to the text. So I'll do this thing, click on save and close. And after that, again, we'll click on save and close. Now, once it is done again, you can just click on start sending. You can start now and this will start sending them this newsletter. So whenever a new subscriber now signs up on your website, uh, they will receive this mail. All right. So till here we have seen all the different types of campaigns, but this was basically for all types of websites, whether it's for blog, whether it's e-commerce website, whether it's LMS website, membership website, this was for all type of website. Now I want to go and jump into specifics. I want to now show you how you can target your customers, how we can send them automatic messages. Uh, basically, I want to show you how we can promote your products to your customers, how we can whenever a person purchases for the first time, how we can send them a thank you message or whether if you want to recommend some products to your customer, you can do that thing as well. Or if you want to follow up on abandoned cart, you can do that thing as well. So for this also, we'll have to go back to this option, automation option, or you can just go back to your campaign. We'll have to create a new campaign. But before we do this thing, first, we have to make sure that we have connected our website with the MailChimp for WooCommerce plugin. So to see this thing again, we'll come back to this dashboard and you have this WooCommerce option, hover over that and click on MailChimp. So under WooCommerce, you'll see MailChimp at the bottom. Now, if you have not already connected your website, you can just click on connect account. This will open a new pop up for you. You'll have to enter your username and password and click on login. Uh, after you click on login, you'll have to allow this, you know, allow MailChimp to connect with WooCommerce. Now, once you do this thing, it will automatically fill in these details for you based on the details that you've entered in MailChimp.com. Now, this is the basic step. Now, click on next step. Okay, you have to enter your phone number. I'll just enter some random number. Click on next step. Now, as you can see, your audience list is already created, already selected over here. And we want to select this opt-in setting as well. So whenever a person, whenever your customer, they go to the checkout page, they will see this option, subscribe to our newsletter just below this email form. So they have to fill in this checkout details. So once they do that, they'll also get this option. So whenever a person tick marks this thing, they will automatically be added to our newsletter. And this is by default visible and by default checked. Okay, as you can see, checked by default which is a good thing. Now you can select this thing and click on start sync. So this will start syncing your customers with your newsletter. Now let me show you a demo of this checkout option that I've shown you over here. So if I go to back to this website, 
Let me add some product in my cart and after that I'll show you the checkout process. Let's add this product in the cart. Click on add to cart. Once it is added to cart, we'll click on view cart. Now we can click on proceed to checkout. We'll go to the checkout page. If you scroll down at the bottom, as you can see, subscribe to our newsletter. This is already tick mark for you. Okay. If a person wants, they can untick this thing or they can uncheck this thing, but this is by default check mark. If they just enter, let me enter some other email over here and rest everything looks good. I'll go to continue to delivery, continue to delivery, cash on delivery, place order. Now this order will be placed and this customer will automatically be added in your newsletter or in your audience list. So this is also pretty useful. And with this, your website is also connected with MailStream because we have connected it and we have synced our website. Now let me show you the importance and usefulness of connecting your website with MailStream. First come over here and refresh this page. Now let's create a new campaign and let's thank our first time customer. So we'll click on create campaign. Again, we'll select email again, we'll select automated, but this time we'll click on e-commerce and you have so many options in e-commerce. You can uh, send first time customers. You can say thank you them. You can reward your best customers. So you can send them specific or, you know, exclusive coupons to your best customers to, to thank them, to reward them, to appreciate their efforts that they are purchasing from your website. So, for all those things, you can do it. You can reiterate site visitors, turn on abandoned cart email, enable auto notification, follow up on purchases, win back lapsed customers. So you, can, you have so many options over here. You can just go ahead there. And this MailChimp.com also has great documentation. So if you want to read or if you want to learn how to use these options, you can go to Google and search for, for example, the title over here is follow up on purchases. So you can go to Google and type in MailChimp follow up on purchases, you will see a detailed documentation on how to use this option. We want to use this basic option. Thank first time customers. Now select this option. And first you have to select this uh, list that you have created. And because we have connected our website, it has automatically gathered this list for us. Now click on begin. Now this is just a single email. If you want, you can also send a series of email. But again, I think that is available in the premium version. Let me see again if I come back. Actually, let me, let me create a new campaign just to, I just want to see whether series is available in the free version or not. So add, we'll click on create campaign, email, automated e-commerce, thank first time customers, email series. Again, as I said earlier, this is also available in the premium version, not with the free version. So we cannot do that. That was very useful because you can set a particular series that on the first day after two hours or maybe after one day or after six hours, send them this thank you for the purchase. Then after one week, automatically it will send another follow up email. And after two weeks, you can send another follow up email just to remind the customer about your website or just to uh, remind them or just to give them notification about new products th that you have added. So you can create a nice layout and it will follow up. You can it will automate this process and it will send these automated emails uh, selecting your customers. So that is very useful, but again, not available in the free version. Now the basic things that are present over here is this is the name. This is the trigger. So it will send this mail will be sent one hour after subscriber purchases anything from your website. If you want, you can edit this thing. You can make it two hours, three hours, one day, one week. You can change this thing. Then the second one is scheduled. So it is scheduled every day. You can filter by segment or tag by default. It will send to everyone or if you want, you can filter customers based on different tags which we are not covering in this video because not available in the free version. Now for this also, you'll have to design a mail or you can use your template that you have created. So we'll click on design email. Now this will give you some pre-built emails. Now, first of all, this is name your email. So this name of this campaign is thank you for your purchase. Email subject is store newsletter. Obviously you, if you want, you can change this thing from name is Fahim. I'll change this thing to Fahim media or Fahim products, whatever your e-commerce website name is. From email is this email. I want to change this thing to this email. Preview text. All these things can be. We have already seen these things. Now we can click on next. Now again, you can just select any one of these templates and you can create your own template. Or if you want, you can use any one of your saved templates. You can go to campaign and you have some recently added options. So as you can see, we have created these two campaigns and the newsletter that we have created. These are displayed over here. So again, you can just go ahead. I'll just use this thing because we have already seen how to create a template. So I don't want to cover this thing again and again. We have seen how to cover how to create a template. So you can follow the same process, create another template. 
enter all the details over here and after that click on save and continue. Again, I'm saying this is just for demo purposes. You should be doing something else. You, you should be writing a proper thank you message to the customer and you can also give them some rewards for that. So in this thing, you could also add different things. For example, let me again go back to this design email. Let me show you a few more things. Now here, I don't want this thing. Maybe I, I'll delete this thing. Okay. And instead of this title, I'll type in instead of affiliate marketing something, I'll type in thank you for your purchase. I would also recommend you to use emojis and smileys, which are very useful. Now you can enter your content over here. Once you enter your content, you can click on save and close. If you want, you can also add some coupon codes over here. So make sure you have first created coupons on your website. So if you go to your e-commerce website under WooCommerce, you will see this coupons option. Click on that. Make sure you have created few coupons. If you have not created, don't worry. You can create it very quickly. Click on this button, create your first coupon. Now we'll have to enter the coupon code that you want. So I'll type in first purchase. Okay. Maybe this is my coupon code and I want to give maybe percentage discount. I'll type in 10 percentage discount. This expires. Maybe this does not expire. This expires never. So I'll, I don't want to put any expiry date over here. Now minimum spend maximum spend. So a person has to spend minimum, minimum this much money on this store to get this discount and maximum this much money to get this discount individual use only. I would recommend you to take mark this thing so that this cannot be used in conjunction with other coupons. So we don't want a person using 10 different coupons and ultimately getting the product for free. Or if you want to, you can disable this thing. Obviously, if you want, you can also exclude sales items. So if the per if the product is already on sale, this coupon will not apply. You can if you take mark this thing so you can see you can have these options and under usage limit. I want to type in this thing. I want to select this option under usage limit per user. I'll type in one. So I want, I want this coupon to be used by a single customer or single user only once. Now again, you can come back to this page now because we have connected our website, our e-commerce website with MailChimp. Now we get some more options, product recently viewed product page, promo code. Now I want to give them this promo code. So I'll drag and drop this promo code over here. And now we can select any promo code that you want to display. So you can click on this drop down icon and as you can see, first purchase the coupon that you have just created. This is the coupon, no expiry date. Person can now click on this op button and now they can shop using this coupon. So this coupon will automatically be applied when they click on this shop now button or if they want, they can, they have this coupon, they can get discount on this coupon. Now I'll click on, you can obviously go ahead, design this thing. For example, this is the background color. You can change the background color. We have already seen these things. You can change the background color. You have, you have the text. This is Arial, which is very bad. You can have some other font family, maybe Montserrat or Lato. Okay. This is Lato. You can change the button style. All these things can be changed. This is the background color for the button. Maybe you can have some other background color, orange color, and you can change the font and all we have seen this thing earlier. Now click on save and close. So you should be typing a message like, thank you for your purchase. Uh, we, we, we appreciate that thing and we are giving you this coupon so that on your next purchase, you get 10% discount. You know, you can type something like that. And after that, click on save and continue. Now you can again, click on this next button at the bottom right corner. And once this thing is applied, you can click on start sending. And whenever a person, uh, you know, purchases something from your website after one hour, because we have uh, set that as a trigger. After one hour, this email will be sent to them. They will get this coupon. They can use this coupon to make more purchases on our website or on your website. Now let's finally see one more option, which is abandoned cart. So this time we'll go to under e-commerce and we'll select turn on an abandoned cart email. Again, make sure your store is selected. Click on begin. Most of the things are same. So you can just select that option and under design content, click on design email. Now this will give you specific layouts for this type of option. So as you can see, now a new tab is added for you, abandoned cart. And as you can see, you can see on the preview as well, it says forgot something or forget something still interested. So I want to use maybe this one. So I'll click on this option. So it will, because we have connected MailChimp with our WooCommerce or with our e-commerce website, this is tracking our customer. And if this MailChimp.com sees that this person was interested, maybe they clicked on that product or maybe they added the product in the cart. This is abandoned cart. So in this case, this, this customer maybe added the product in the cart, but they did not do the checkout. So we'll send this mail after will after maybe one day or after three hours, after four hours, will this mail will be automatically sent to the customer and we'll say 
that are you still interested in this product and now this time you can also give them some coupon so if you if you're still interested in, the, in this product you can use this coupon and you can do the checkout or you can just send the abandoned cart message without any coupon depends on you so under logo i'll upload my own logo i'll replace this with with my own logo i'll upload it from here so i think i have one dummy logo over here which is this i'll select this click on open i want to use this as my logo and this is the text now you have to click on this product option and how many products you want to display you can select that option you have the return to checkout button when they click on that thing they will be automatically re uh, redirected to your checkout page and you can also send them you can also have this option so at the bottom it will also display the best seller products on your website okay as you can see it will display best seller products on your website so this layout is already created for you. you just have to do some if you want to do some styling you can do that if you want to do few content from here you can do that thing and after that click on save and close now click on save and continue and again you can add promo code if you want now you can just go ahead and click on start sending and again whenever a person for example let me give you the, give you this example so a person for example i don't have any product in my cart i have suppose added this product in the cart click on view cart now i have added this product in the cart i have created an account as you can see i have an account with this website but i did not do the checkout maybe after one day or two day i'll receive this mail i think we did not set the trigger we should have done that let me just show you the trigger part i think i just I forgot to mention that so click on create another mail i just want to show you the trigger part this time click on the same option select the same store click on begin now you can also do one thing you can anytime pause any campaign so maybe i want to pause this campaign and i want to show you the trigger part so let it load first so you will see this option sent to under this option if you click on edit recipients now the default option is six hours so after six hours after they abandon the card this will be sent if you want you can make it 24 hours if you want you can change this to one hour or any other thing you want so you should always remember to uh, edit these settings so that you know what is the trigger part now click on resume and this thing will start working for you now i have already shown you how to read re reports you can go to your campaigns and you have these campaigns running you can also see those options over here now this is the one that we opened if you can click, click on report on any one of these campaigns and you can see the report how many people opened what was the link they opened the most all these things can be seen from here and you can use this report to see which uh, what your person or what your customers are more interested in and with this we have completed this tutorial now i hope you guys find this tutorial helpful if you like this tutorial if you find it helpful make sure to subscribe because we have i have many more similar tutorials coming in the future on seo and more things on marketing and all so if you subscribe you won't miss those videos now if you like this video give a thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends on facebook twitter whatsapp whatever social media platform you use and throughout the video if you have any doubts any comments any suggestions for me you can always leave them in the comment section below and at the again let me remind you again i would recommend you to go to google Go to the actual documentation of MailChimp.com and you can learn more things in more detail. So that would be very useful for you. And finally, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.